Hi guys, it's Paula. I am here today to show you my top three and bottom three of January. This is going to be a monthly best and worst of beauty um, that I'm gonna try and post around the third week of every month, which gives me enough time to make some decisions. As any panner knows, I don't have a ton of current products in rotation. A lot of the stuff that I am working on from day to day is no longer even available on the store shelves. But I do come across some new stuff that I wanna discuss with you guys. And so everything that I'm talking about today is currently available in stores. So let's get started. My first favorite of the month of January is without a doubt this little Marc Jacobs eyeliner in black. I cannot tell you the last time that I felt confident walking out the door at seven in the morning with a black eyeliner in my waterline. This is so good. I put it on in my waterline and it is still there when I take my makeup off at the end of the night. It might have faded in this outer corner because I do get tearied when I put makeup on and my eyes and it's like if it's windy outside my eyes will start to water but this is so good I have so many eyeliners that have gone on this inky and black and smooth but because it's so soft it transfers down here and I don't know what it is that I do if I'm like smiling a certain way or like I don't know what I do but I always get transfer down there from if I put a black eyeliner in my waterline. So I haven't worn a black eyeliner in years and I love this so much. I am ready to chuck my entire collection of black eyeliners and just start fresh with this one. It is that good. I have no idea how much this costs at Sephora. This is a little um, sample that came in a 500 point perk from Marc Jacobs um, at Sephora. It also had a lip gloss and a couple other products in it. So I got this for free. Um, using points. It is called, I know you guys have seen these everywhere, but it's called the Highliner Gel Cl Crayon. And I'm assuming the color is black, but it is so good. If you guys have seen my inventory posts on Instagram, you know how many black eyeliners I have. And I'm just, I'm ready to let go of all of them. I mean, this, this is all I need. It is that good. My next favorite of the month has been the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. This was also a free sample that I got from Clinique. This is in the shade 01 Linen. It's a very fine, very fair neutral. This is too light of a shade for me to use as a foundation all over, even in the winter when I'm my fairest color but I have been able to use it under my eyes, you know, around here, you know, where higher point where I like to highlight anyways, and then blend it in with a darker foundation. Sorry if you hear squeaking, my son's riding around the front room in his tricycle, but I've used it enough to know that I love it. And I'm not surprised. This is a favorite of Candy Johnson's. Um, her skin always looks flawless every day and so I've been wanting to try this forever so I was really excited to be able to try this sample out and it really just confirmed that I would love to get a full size in a shade that is more suited to my entire face down the road. So I am literally going to be working through my stash of foundations just so I can buy this foundation when they're gone in 10 years. The third and final favorite of the month of January is this Kat Von D reformulated studded kiss lipstick. I received this from Influencer. If you if you are not familiar with Influencer, it is a company that will send you free products in exchange for some homework and your honest review. And I was nominated for the studded kiss campaign and they sent me this sample, which is a very good size sample of the new formula in the shade Lovecraft. And I'm wearing it right now. It's beautiful. It's, it's an interesting color. It's not really pink. It's definitely not red. It's not mauve. I don't know how to describe it, but it's very flattering. And I'm not like a bold lipstick wearer from day to day. So this 
color specifically gets me out of my comfort zone a little but not too much and I like that the formula is good it is comfortable but matte it stays on for a nice long period of time and when it as it does wear off throughout the day it wears off evenly which is all I need I don't need a lipstick to stay on for 24 hours I just don't want to look all weird as it does wear off or if I eat pizza or something I don't want to have to like run to the bathroom because I look like a clown so I'm so grateful to have received that sample and I'm loving this lipstick. I am going to leave my link for Influenced or down below. If you guys have any questions about it, if you've never heard from about it, but you're interested, leave a comment down below and I can let you know some more information about it. But I love having the opportunity to review products and it's one of the reasons, one of many reasons why I started up this YouTube channel to be able to review products, to be able to review products. So, um, I love it. If, if that's something you're interested in, leave a comment. Now on to the bottom three for the month of January. Uh, the first is going to be this Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation. It is still available. I've had mine for a couple years now, but it is still sold in drugstores like Walmart and Walgreens. So this foundation is hit or miss for me. I'm still trying to figure out the best way to use it, but it is definitely not like high on my repurchase list once this is gone. I'm wearing it today in combination with a uh, MAC strobe cream and a uh, mineralized sunscreen that I'm working on. So it's not just this on my skin alone. Today it is looking pretty good. Some days it seems to be patchy and like I can see the foundation sitting on top of my skin, especially around here and here. And so, I don't know. I'm having trouble making this work. I'm wondering if this is just better for people with oily skin because it just ends up looking kind of dry and cakey on me sometimes. Um, I think this would be a lot better for me in the summer when it's more humid, but unfortunately this color is already light on me. And so in the summer, this shade is gonna be way too light on me unless I mix it, which I probably will be doing. But this is definitely not gonna be repurchased once this is gone. My second item for the bottom three is another item that is just not for me and it's not going to be repurchased. Um, this is the Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Showering Sunset. It's basically a clear lip gloss. When you see this cap, you know, this beautiful pink cap, you think it's gonna have some color to it when you look at this cap, but the truth is it's very clear. So there's probably a lot of cheaper alternatives to this if you just like a clear balm. I'm gonna put some on right now. It's a pen style with a little brush at the end. All right, so you twist it up like so, and you brush it on. It has a really nice smell. And that's basically how I've been wearing this, is just to kind of add a little shine to any of the matte lipsticks I've been wearing over the last month. It's not bad. I just don't know if I would repurchase this. This was a gift to me from my girlfriend, Jamie, and I love it, but I don't think I'm gonna repurchase this, and I don't know if it's worth whatever money she paid for it, but um, it's okay. I just think there's cheaper products out there that can give you a similar result as a clear gloss. The third item that is in my bottom three for the month of January are these three Mystic lipsticks that I ordered off of HSN. Now these actually weren't d ordered during the month of January. The truth is I ordered these a few months ago, but I didn't have a third thing and these are so terrible. I thought they deserved a mention since this is my first top three, bottom three. Now, the reason I ordered these is because if you have an Instagram account that is beauty related, you need a photo of those jelly lip balms with the flower inside. We all need them on our Instagram account. So I literally bought these, not so much to use them. Of course, I plan to use them, but for the Instagram photo. Now the packaging seems really cool here. What you do here is you push this button on the top and the bottom pops out like that. 
and you open it like this. But here, but here is the catch. On all three, I opened them and the tops were dented by the lid of the cap. So the Instagram photo is already blown because if the tip of the lipstick is missing, it kind of defeats the purpose of an Instagram photo. So then I thought, no big deal. Can always use a nice tinted lip balm. This is one of those that's supposed to change color with the pH of your skin or your body chemistry, whatever. So where was I? So no big deal. The Instagram photo is shot, but you know, it's still a functional lipstick or lip balm or tinted lip balm. So I'll use it as that. But here's the thing. It doesn't smell great. It smells kind of like Vaseline or something. I, I don't know. I don't know what it smells like. It doesn't smell pretty. And it doesn't feel that great on the skin. It, it feels kind of slippery. I just put it on right there. Can you see the shine? It's turning a little pink. I, I'll wear it because I bought it, but don't go to HSN and buy these. I think there's other brands that are doing similar flowers in your lip balm better than this. So the brand that I would recommend you avoid is called Mystic Lipstick. Okay guys, that is it for my top three and bottom three for the month of January. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mom, I found a clue. What did you find? Uh oh. Oh dear. That is not good. Do you see yourself? Yeah. What are you doing? We better hide this. Where's the rest of the baby? I don't want Hazel to see this. Go find the rest of the baby. I can't find, I can't find the baby. It's, it's in the new hiding place. All right, we'll look for it. Okay. And of course, I'm putting it over. <laughs> okay. they, they can see my eye. <laughs> if you don't subscribe to this video, if I can do tricks all by myself, no way. If you like this video, please subscribe and click the these videos down below. And if you know, I can do tricks all by myself. And I can slid around. Oh, no, no way. Can I finish this video before we start your YouTube channel? Your YouTube channel?